Welcome to this AWS hands-on tutorial where I'll walk you through the process of deploying an Angular app to S3 using AWS CodeBuild. To get started, I'll launch a terminal and use the Angular CLI to scaffold a new Angular application. If you don't have the Angular CLI installed, you may find the installing Angular on a Mac video in my intro playlist helpful in getting set up for this tutorial. Now to scaffold the application, I'll execute this command, which will use the Angular CLI to create a new Angular application named Demo App. With the scaffolding complete, I'll change directory into the project folder and execute ng-serve to start the app. With the app started, I'll open a browser and go to localhost port 4200, and we see the default Angular CLI demo app. Now, I'll jump over to my GitHub account and create a new repository for the project. I'll give it a name and a description. I'll keep the repo public and then choose node for the git ignore template and finally create the repository. I'll copy the link to the repo and jump back in the terminal and execute the following command to add the remote origin. Now, when I push the changes to GitHub, I need to set the upstream origin on the remote to the master branch instead of using the main branch in the repo. And to do this, I'll use git push hyphen hyphen set upstream with the origin pointing to master. With the changes push, we could go back to GitHub, switch to the master branch, and see our changes. Now it's time to jump into the AWS console and create an S3 bucket to host the site. Give the bucket a name, scroll down and disable block all public access, and acknowledge, enable bucket versioning, and then create the bucket. I'll then go into the bucket, click the properties tab, and scroll to the bottom, and enable static website hosting. For the index and error documents, I'll add index.html to both, since Angular is a single page application, and save changes. Finally, I'll click the permissions tab, edit the bucket policy, and add a policy which will allow get object access to everyone on the bucket and all objects contained therein. I'll save the changes. And now the bucket is configured to host the site. Because this is an Angular application, before we can deploy the site to S3, we need to execute the following command to prepare the site for deployment. After the command completes execution, we'll see a new dist folder which contains the deployment artifacts for the application. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to implement automated deployments instead of manually adding the files to the S3 bucket. I'll be using AWS code build to prepare the Angular app for deployment. So the next step in the process is to create a build spec YAML file in the root of the Angular project. And I'll paste in the contents of the file. Here I've specified the AWS version and created some environment variables. I've added phases for the install, pre-build, build, and post-build hooks, and a section for artifacts. Now I'll push the changes up to the remote repo. Now we can jump back into the AWS console and head over to CodeBuild. I've already created a build project for this demo, but I'll go ahead and walk you through the process of creating a build project of your own. Start by giving the project a name. For the source provider, we'll pick GitHub. If this is the first time that you're connecting to GitHub from your AWS account, you'll have to enter your credentials, so go ahead and follow that process. I'll select a repository in my GitHub account, and then select the Angular demo site. For the source version, I'll enter the main branch. I'll check to enable webhooks for a single build, and the event type will be push. For the environment, I'll use the manage image with the Ubuntu operating system. The runtime will be standard, and I'll pick the latest image. I'll let code build create a new role for me, and I'll leave the default to use the build spec file. And for this demo, I'll uncheck CloudWatch logs, and then create the build project. Now, before code build can do a deployment to S3, it has to be granted permissions to the bucket, and we'll do this using an IAM role. So I'll click build details, scroll down to the service role, select the policy, edit, go into the JSON view, 
and I'll add a statement which will allow these actions on these resources. Click Review Policy and Save Changes. Now I'll jump back over to VS Code and open up the App Component HTML file in the Source App folder and make a change. I'll save the file, go to the terminal, and add, commit, and push the change. And if we jump back into code build, we see that the build is now in progress. And with the build complete, if we jump back over to the bucket and refresh, we see our object. If I go to properties and scroll down to static website hosting, click the endpoint, and we see the changes are deployed. And that concludes this video on automating an Angular deployment from GitHub to S3 using AWS code build. I hope you found it useful.